people on the internet. We're gonna talk about some cool stuff today. A cool tool to be exact. And it involves angles. And if you're like me, the easier the better with angles. I'm not good at math, I'm not good at any of that stuff. So if you keep it simple, I'm good, I'm a simple person. So there's a couple different ways you can measure angles or degrees or whatever you wanna call it. It's this, one of these, this little protractor that's been from our favorite Chinese tool store. They don't work good. And there's these, like these will just do like 45s. Nothing, nothing wild. You got a bubble level, no more handy. Uh, these, these work good, super simple. Kind of set this dial to mark your spot. They work good, man, that thing's dirty. I've had this for a long time, use them a lot. And this one's magnetic too. And it's got a drill bit stuff to it, cool. <laughs> uh, then a little torpedo level, which also has a drill bit stuck to it. Mm, fun. Uh, I guess you could probably use this to measure stuff, angles, whatever. Not very accurate. And then there's this big behemoth. Uh, he works good, but man, he's big. And you can lock this thing, and it gives you a little digital readout and whatnot. It has its place, but there's better options. That is, come here, little guy. This dude right here. This is made by Klein. See it up there? Uh, the orange. That's cool, right? Can't lose it. It has a magnetic base. Only one side is magnetic. Not the rest of them. And it even tells you which side's magnetic. So that's cool. So how's this thing work? Well, let's turn it on. Oh, it's already measuring angles. So you can see it is pretty accurate as I turn it here. You see it increasing, increasing. And if you get into a spot where you can't see, see the uh, display there, you can actually click the hold button, pull it off, and you look at it and see it stays. That's cool. So what if you're in a situation where, say you're building like a chassis or something and you gotta match the angles of some tube or whatnot, uh, you could set this on your known angle tube and for this, it's gonna be wherever it lands. Then we can hit zero and it'll zero back out. And then at that point we can go over and jam it on our other tube and just get it to zero. When it hits zero, you know, you got the right angles. It's pretty neat, uh, inexpensive, like 20, 30 bucks or something like that on Amazon. They sell cheaper ones. This is a name brand. Uh, that's about all I got, man. I think you'll like them. Get a couple of these, put them all over your shop. They're cheap enough, so when you lose one, you got another one. But when you lend your buddy one, he never brings it back. You got another one. So either way, neat tool. I think you'll love it. Appreciate you guys listening. We'll see you later. Bye.